This is a film of me and Jenny cycling the Penhurst to Tunbridge in Kent in England. So I've uh, left a lot of the natural sound in but I'll put a bit of the commentary in as well. Come on, say something funny. <laughs> There's my shot over there. This is a pitiful sight, isn't it? Come on. <laughs> turn it around. Come on, turn it around. I find it hard to go back to the um, screen now. The screen? Yeah, the LCD. Yeah. See, this is where you come up the hill. Effort, training, and dedication. Okay, move the hand to, uh, the, to the other way. That's it. That's better. Then back and then stop. Back, stop, and back. One more time. Brilliant. <laughs> Okay, it's a very technical shot, okay? Okay, Jane, slow down. I'm going to come past you on the left. That's it. Cool. Now come past me. This is going to be a big hit on YouTube. Wait, I can't hear. Okay, stop. I'm getting scared because I'm going to go downhill. Hope you're enjoying the film. I'm putting a few special effects and texts in here. So I'm really pulling out all the stops and the editing here. I've used shots both uh, going there and coming back, so I've just into it, cut them together. This is a very easy ride, even though Jen makes it look like it's the Tour de France, it's only a five miles each way. So normally I would zip through and do it really quick, but um, well, I have to say we took quite a long time to do it. Uh, you can see here why. Hi. Sight for the camera. Family orientated. Apologies for that. I've censored that as best I can. You know, in the Tour de France, when they have the teams and the team leader is protected by all their. Um, Domestiques. That was what I was hoping Jen would do for me, but as you can see, total disaster. Anyway, back to the ride. This is uh, the country park. This is really neat. And we had an ice cream here as well. And I was getting all these uh, nice duck shots as well. So this is all pretty flat once you get to the second half of the uh, ride. I think this is the River Medway I'm crossing here. And that goes into Tunbridge, I think. So I had the mountain bike for this ride and uh, probably is slightly better than the road bike because some it's not all kind of like on farm, it's mostly farm track or it's like this, it's um, pathway like this. Anyway, I was getting more confident with my filming and cycling at the same time. Well, a bit better and a bit more confident. And Jim was going about the right speed for me. But luckily we had nobody behind us. But what the hell, I might as well wind up anyway, so it's a lot more fun. 
Come on, hurry up, Jin. I haven't got enough film left. So this is actually quite a long sequence. But I thought here we were close to collapse. Oh, it's so steep and you can just see the slight wobble, slight giving in the spirit of the will. But no, outstanding, we made it. We made it to the top and we're down to the next bit of downhill and a bit more flat. It's quite a long section actually. You're not going to get off now, are you? <laughs> Come on, hope you're pleased with yourself. It's not even a gradient. This is pretty funny if you like small children in tears. Watch what's going to come out. It is quite amusing. <laughs> Better get used to it, kid, because that's how we all feel when we go up to London on the rush hour trains. I quite fancied having a go on this myself, it's pretty looks pretty good fun, but pretty intense if you're a small child. Anyway, this is Tunbridge. And uh, this is Tunbridge Castle, which I've never been to. I've only been to Tunbridge once, I think, before. And basically we did the return journey. And we got back before it got dark in case you got worried. It's a good ride, it's well worth doing, it's good fun. Despite Jay making it look like a climb of the Mont Ventoux. That's it. It's not Toy Story 3, but it's not bad. Take care. <laughs>